Hey everyone, it's Blue Lizard Jello, and welcome back to Blue Plays Liza P. Now, in between this and the last episode, I had a small snafu. That is, I hit record, played for five minutes, luckily died very quickly, and uh, didn't have my microphone on. I was actually muted, so I've deleted that footage, and now you're going to see me make that run back. Now, the only notable thing that I did was that I finally got a big shortcut, and I'm going to show you what that shortcut was. It did involve that pipe that we've seen numerous times that I thought I could actually run through the pipe, but no, in fact, I am running above it. So a couple of things, I have not gone back to fight the enemy, the puppet rather, with the shovel. What I did though was go up here, here's where the shortcut was, I pulled this lever, it lowered that pipe, which is a way back to the very beginning of the workshop. I went in here, there's a little bit of scrawl talking about how someone wants to make as much as Vanini's butler puppet. And then as I approach here, I don't know if he's going to speak again. That's rather disloyal. Quite insulting. Yeah, so that's Lorenzini Vanini. So he is nearby. Once I heard his voice, I actually left because I didn't want to go there just yet. So instead, I stayed up this way. I went over here. First off, I learned something incredible about the fire axe. So I'm going to actually trigger a couple of puppets that'll drop down. The charge R2 is this awesome charging attack where you can close the distance and do a nice heavy slam right at the very end of it. Kind of awesome. Kind of amazing. But then I ran into a boss. Perhaps a mini bot. Ow. Oh, you followed me really far. I'm gonna die. Let's get a rear fatal, thank you. But he is another human enemy. He's uh, just simply known as Survivor. And he is very, very strong. And he attacks incredibly quickly. He's right down there. So I'm gonna go down there in a moment, but first I'm just gonna explore around here for a moment. Are these supposed to be coffins? Kind of seems like that's the case, huh? What do we have here? Have you seen this eccentric? Have you seen this eccentric? Hot off the press news this month again. This month's eccentric is Mr. J, a gentleman who caused a stir by marrying a puppet. Is it because the custom-made puppet is so beautifully made? Or that Mr. J's peculiarities? Easy for me to say. Even he was unaware of suddenly burst? Mr. J fell in love with the maid puppet at first sight, and they got married, even in the face of his family's opposition. But the lover's secret wedding faced ruin. The enraged family stormed in. The husband was confused. The puppet bride was greatly damaged. She clearly had a soul. We loved each other. Gentleman J, who became his family's headache, still makes the same claims. He's even fixing his bride and redoing the wedding. This tragedy was all made possible because of Krat's advanced puppet technology. Let's all listen to our families now. Ha <laughs> ha. The Have You Seen This Eccentric Corner will continue next month. Okay, so just a collectible. And lots of cigarettes. Oh, so now I have no place to go other than either back to the shovel or to this survivor down here, which I don't know if he's going to talk to me again. I was actually able to talk to him, and he's, uh, he he's pretty distraught. Let's just put it that way. I'm going to have to heal... I think what I need to do, though, is break his weapon, which I don't even know how to do. Yep, he's immediately after me. I can't tell what's blood and what's oil. Oh, that was almost a backstab, though. Back up. He just, he attacks so quickly. Back up, back up. Look. He staggers a lot, though. I wish I'd known that surviving is a hell of a thing. Okay, we're good. So far. Oh, that's indoor. Okay. I wish I hadn't run away. 
way. I really wish I could time some of his attacks. There was a good one. But then he immediately just followed it up. I mean... I can't tell what's blood and what's oil. I, I can't tell how to hit you. He doesn't stop. Oh! How many do I need to kill? Wow, I got him to staggered state, but only after I took about a third of his health. He's gonna be a challenge. Ooh, you know what though? He's human. My guess is that humans are going to be more susceptible to fire, right? Okay. Let's let's switch this out. Let's go to the dagger. It's quick. I don't know how easily we'll get a stagger, but if we can just keep applying fire, that could be really useful. And then we have to figure out the other enemy. My goodness. We have, we have a few things to do before we're even going to consider going back to the shovel, or consider going back to the uh, Vanini area. Don't forget, he may follow us. Ooh, also, I shouldn't have these just yet. Or I shouldn't have the dagger just yet, unless they don't follow. Which maybe they don't. Come on now. I can't tell what's blood and what's oil. All right, all right, heal up. He's not on fire yet. Ooh, that was a good backstab. Okay, so that's going to be what I do. I'm going to fish. Oh, that should have been one. I think I was spamming too much. <laughs> All right, come this way. Good, back up. That could have been a backstab. How do I get the ability to dodge like him? I think that should have been a backstab too. I can't tell what's blood and what's oil. We're, we're doing okay. Oh, that, that's right, that increases fire. Okay. Well, you know, now we actually have to hit him. Come on this way. There it is. Oh, he's on fire. Oh, he's on fire. I don't know how long that's going to last. Back up. Yeah, he does give you his back a lot. Come on now. All right, the fire's already gone, but he's down below half. Ah. Last heal. Okay. There it is. Good. Oh, we almost got the pulse back. No, 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 no. Okay. Got another heal back. Good. 
If we can make this happen, we gotta be we gotta be better though. Nice backstab. Come on. Oh, we, we're so close. Oh, you know, if I had something to throw at him, this would be really, really good. Wait a minute. Blue. Back up. Oh, that's... Oh, that doesn't work. Oh, that backstab would have been it. Oh. If I just had something to throw. Nope. Nope, dead. Oh! Okay, I need to have consumables on my hotbar. What a bummer. I like the dagger, though. I like fishing for those backstabs. I need to be more patient, though. I would have gotten more if I was more patient. Right, so what can I do to better prepare? We could put on thermite. Could also put on electric blitz. And then maybe... What else? The saw? Sure. Just in case. Just in case. If you can... Fight him. <laughs> without dodging, more power to you. And, and I will happily watch your gameplay and try to learn from you. That seems... Very, very difficult to pull off. Not saying impossible, but I am saying that uh, it might be currently beyond my skill level. Also, is my lamp not currently activated? I wonder if I have to activate it every time. Come on. That was not the damage I was hoping for. You know what? Enjoy? Because it doesn't hurt me. That's fantastic. I'm going to heal. Alright, let's keep the saw Ooh, at the ready. Oh, that was a freebie. I wish I'd known. But surviving is a hell of its own. I don't like that this is just fundamentally useless against him. Because he just, he absolutely abuses it. Nope. Heal up. See, I feel like that should have been a backstab. I was just trying to set him on fire. I, can't tell what's blood and what's oil. I mean, this abuse is just insane when he gets you. There's one. My goodness. Mm. 
See, even then, I tried to... Whoa, what? Sometimes you get it really easily. Okay, we got our heal back. Andy's on fire. I'm all right with that. Might actually just drop another one of these. Yeah, just stay right in there. For, like, the whole time. <laughs> that was actually a lot of damage. Back up. Oh, come on. There's a good backstab. Whoa, what? Missed a lot of damage there for some reason. I don't want to use the saw yet. We might have to. Eh, that was okay. Come on. No, what? There it is. There it is. Come on. Oh, 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 Stalker's Promise. Survivor's Mask. Survivor's Hunting Apparel. And the door opened. Oh, gosh, that was tough. I think, actually... Yeah, we know where this goes. Very nice. Now, wait a minute. Oh, this is, this is leading back here. Okay. We do know where that goes. That was an earned kill. Not very good, but an earned kill. Let's take a look at everything we just got. We just got a gesture, right? And that was the Stalker's Promise. The reason one takes up one's sword is to honor one's vow to those whom one wishes to protect. No matter the banner one is fighting for, nothing changes this vow. So this is, is used by both bastards and sweepers. So maybe we go back to Red Fox and Black Cat and use this gesture. Let's move that to Equiven. Let's actually put that here. And let's also put on that costume. The mouse mask worn by the survivor reeks of sewage and fear. Rookie stalkers usually wear the animal mask decided by superiors. Perhaps this was even what had blessed the youth's fate. That's such a cool mask. It belonged to the one who forsook his oath. When the puppets toppled the tower, the youth fled in fear. He lost his sworn brother and his name that day and became a survivor wandering in hell. This is awesome. Okay, this is very, very cool. Now, um, problem. <laughs> Can I switch... On a ladder? I can! <gasps> a game that lets you switch equipment on a ladder? Oh, don't die! Don't die! Oh, you... Uh-oh. Okay, let's kill you. Good. Back up. Uh-oh. You walked right into that blue. You earned that, that hit. Hidden Moonstone, though. I am pretty thrilled about that. Let's see if they have anything to say, and if not, I'll try the gesture. Best of luck to you. <laughs> Take care. Okay. And now? Wait, that's show off clothes. No, that's not... Did I not change it? Stalker's Promise, move to equipment. Oh. That's what I had to do. Okay. Nothing, really. Best of luck to you. How about... 
Uh, that's a bummer. That's a darn shame. I really, really, really shouldn't go against old shovel without heals, but maybe I can earn at least one back. Throwing cells, very nice. And maybe I could at least go get that. If I go in here, will you attack? If not. There we go, fall over. I'm just wondering if... From where? Never mind, I don't have to worry about healing. I was thinking... If I could just rush in there and open up that shortcut, that would be really nice. Boy, we have had many parts dedicated to this stargazer, huh? I feel like maybe it's time we stopped? I feel like we're nearly done with the factory. Once we get to Vinini, I would imagine there is a bit of a boss fight coming up. I would have to think, right? I don't know if this is... I guess this is technically easier. I can just run past you. I'm both surprised and disappointed that my costume and gesture does nothing for these stalkers right here. Um, one thing I want to do, though, is... Yeah, I should be turning that on every time. Just ignore you... Ready, avoid, jump. Good, good. Where... Where are they coming from? That seems bugged out. That didn't happen my first time through, and there's no... There's no corpses up there. It's just a solid tube. A bit... A bit disappointing to see that happen. Wait, 2,850? Here's something I think I'm learning about death ergo. Dying doesn't decrease the ergo. Getting hit does. So if you just die, it's almost as if you don't lose any. That's a bit of a strange, uh, strange phenomenon. I'm going to do the same thing I just did to see if that happens again. If so, I might have to call that some sort of bug. And I think with old shovel pants, what I need to do... Alright, what if I do this? Run this way and then run back. <gasps> uh oh I'm just blind. Okay. Goodness, you're fast. That was creepy, by the way. That's gotta be said. That was kind of... Horrifying. Also, should I go back to the glaive? It does make me slightly heavy. I do. Oh, okay, that's why the, they were on the ground last time. That's why. I do like farming them for hidden moonstones. Okay, we have... I'm just gonna go for it. Go, 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 go. Does that count? Uh, yeah? Yeah! Ooh, oh my gosh! Dang it! We have the shortcut now. Man alive! More deaths in these last few parts than the beginning altogether. Now, there's probably something, though, to be said about that because, well, <laughs> I played the demo a lot. And the demo was that first seven parts, I believe, 
or eight, eight parts, might be eight. But that's a really, really good shortcut I just got. So that'll be nice. I just want to see what's at the end of the uh, the factory. Obviously a boss of some sort. But to get there, I need old shovel pants to die. Definitely looks like I should be able to get up there, doesn't it? Nice kill. Okay. So. Go this way. Oh, criminy. What if I... Hmm. What if I bring them back to my friends? <laughs> You just leash? What if I make you get hit? Okay. I just had to see if there was a fatal backstab. There's not. Oh, but don't... Don't do that. Good, perfect. Whoa, good. Now don't get hit by this though. Good, yes, 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 yes. What kind of damage, please do a lot of damage. Not nearly as much as I had hoped. Oh, there's fire here. Evan Sabetsy. Move. Oh, no, 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 no. Michael. Blue. Stop saying Michael. Heal up again. We could win this. Oh. I didn't realize that his weapon was broken now. That's cool. Why is there someone here? This is, this is unfortunate. Nope. Oh my gosh, there's more coming? Never mind, we're running. This is, the leashing is kind of impressive and oppressive. <laughs> nope. want you to die. <gasps> no. You gotta be kidding. Alright, just run. We gotta go get that item, whatever it is. I'm gonna die. Oh, shoot. There's something I can actually do here. don't want enemies. Nope. I wanted to get a backstab. Will he eventually... He's still coming. Believe it or not, he's absolutely still coming. I don't know if he's done. I want to salvage this. I really do. So, let's see what we can do here. How can we... There's not much we can do. There's not much we can do, but we have th one, th 
throwing cell. And here's what I'm thinking. Oh, he's still right there. Okay, you know what? Here's what we do. We got him. Didn't get the heal back yet. Oh. This is just desperate. This is just desperate. That was good damage, though. Come on, give me the give me the fury attack. Give me the fury. Okay, we can heal. We might be able to make this happen. Good. Oh, thank you. Oh my word. Swordsmanship Master's Amulet. A new amulet. Sloppy, sloppy, sloppy. Reduces weapon durability consumption. Actually, I think this is worthless. <laughs> the Swordsmanship Master's graceful movements largely reduced weapon wear and tear. However, there are extremely few puppets who could imitate him, even when equipped with the amulet with the record of his movements. Hmm. All right, well... We are just about to wrap up. I am finally, at long last, going to see what he was guarding. There's a lever there. I don't know what it's going to do. But we are about to find out. Uh... I don't know. What... Why do I have a feeling that just drained the corruption down below? That's what that just did, isn't it? Great googly moogly. <laughs> of course it did. Well, on that note... <laughs> Boy, that fight would have been a lot easier, huh? That's going to do it for this episode. My mind is shook, is all I can say. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you're still enjoying. And Mighty Mouse and I will see you next time.